if she looks like that while she's communicating to um her babies or the other members of uh, her colony i think that would be pretty goddamn terrifying to see because at this point you just know you're you're screwed Hey everybody, it is Hyper and we are back again with another bit about the Wild Hunters. Two days in a row actually, which is actually, it's pretty cool. I like seeing more and more of this stuff come out from Scum and it's just getting me more hyped up for the eventual actual full release of the game. Now in this tweet, Thomas Slav says, Some asked how mutants will be used. Most of them will occupy certain parts of the island. Unless you go searching for them, you will not be bothered by their presence. They are important for the story. Others might spread over the island with time though. And then it's accompanied by this little picture which we will look at in depth after I give my little spiel about this, right? Now I think it's awesome that he included this right here because again there are a lot of people out there who are talking about the Wild Hunters and they're kind of upset that um, they are part of the Scum Universe or they will be part of the Scum Universe. Even though, um, just bear with me here. From the beginning, um, I'm aware that Game Pyres planned a, a bigger game and a bigger universe than just Scum Island, right? If you look into the lore about like the BCUs, about how the island came to be, about how the prisoners get to the island, especially if you got the supporter pack one drops with the graphic uh, novel portion in it, you can see that like there's a lot more to it than just a survival thing. It's not it's not Rust, it's not Daisy. You actually have a, a, a lore base to go off of, right? And um, these wild hunters are a huge part of that. And um, he says they're important to the story, and that's awesome. And a lot of people are afraid because they're like, well, I like playing this game because it's realistic, it's survival, it's PvP. Or it's PvE, I like just the survival aspect, which is awesome. And I, and I totally think you should be able to play games how you want to play them. I play PvP on certain servers, PvE on other servers, and then a mix of both on mine. So I totally get it. I, different moods, different days, different game types. But at the same time, I think Scum can be much bigger. It has a ton of potential versus the other games like Daisy and Miscreated and, you know, Seven Days to Die and that you have an actual storyline, right? And he specifically says, they're not going to bother you. Unless you go looking for a fight with these guys, they're not going to bother you, right? He says, although they might spread over the island with time, I don't know what he means by that specifically. Maybe they'll start coming to the service more as you progress in the story. I don't know how you're gonna integrate that in a multiplayer server, but for single player, I could definitely see how that would work. Maybe a little bit like the forest or something like that. Who can say? The point of this that I'm trying to make though is that this is not gonna ruin Scum. It's gonna add to it and you can take it or leave it. That's my whole point. And I think that's the point Thomas Lav is trying to make right here too. They're gonna spread over the island with time. They're not gonna bother you unless you go looking for them. And I'm sure if you wanna complete missions and stuff like that, you're definitely going to have to. But I think it's gonna be really cool. I think it's gonna be um, just a, a lot of fun, man. Like it's adding to the story of the game, the depth, the immersion. And I think the uh, Scum universe is something that is fascinating to me. And I wanna see more of it. And I think they're doing a good job so far. And, um, you know, adding this as part of like a backstory that's believable for the, uh, you know, creation of Phoenix Tears and all that makes sense to me, right? So now that my little, you know, spiel, like I said, is over, let's get on to the actual image that we are going to take a look at, right? So here it is. This is the full image right here. Um, it's actually not even the full image. We can't see the entire image on the screen because it's so big. So we're gonna take a look at it left to right, right? And um, like this is basically what I assume to be the queen, right? She looks like the queen. There's eggs laying right there and all that other stuff. That looks, it looks crazy, right? I'm getting a lot of vibes from like aliens and like um, these, uh, for, for whatever reason, um, this this picture immediately reminds me of uh, Starship Troopers. I don't know if anybody else gets that kind of like feeling from looking at this picture. I don't know exactly what's giving it to me. Maybe it's, uh, the shapes and the legs, I'm not positive. Um, definitely getting some brain bug vibes from this bottom left portion right here, for sure. That could be it too. We'll see though. Now, um, there's a lot of text scattered throughout the screen and there's a lot of different iterations of what this could look like, right? So again, let's work our way left to right. Or let's talk about like the features we see most of all, right? So on this part, we see the queen in all her glory with uh, these eggs and she looks pretty gnarly. Now, from a distance, she kind of looks like a, um, like a trant or something like that. She doesn't look like a spider, per se. I mean, if you look close up at her face, she does, but she looks like she's made of wood or something from the single. I think it's just a part of, like, the sketchy look of it, but it, uh, 
she's got some mean claws on her. She has this like um I, what would you call that? That thorax? Like she has a thorax extending from I guess her like pelvic region and she's laying these massive eggs, right? And um yeah, it's pretty gross looking. Like this looks way more disgusting, way more creepy than I would say the alien from the aliens franchise, right? Now um, if you take a look at her hands, she clearly has spiders crawling off of her. So she's definitely following this whole, like, spider motif that um, Thomas Lab has been dropping hints of for us over the past months, right? So definitely these are very spider-based um, creatures, and I think this confirms it, just like the uh, newborns did. The other adults didn't really, but these ones for sure follow that. And this is kind of getting to the realm of much, much more animalistic than, say, like, the alpha or the um, scout or the warriors it looks a lot different from them and honestly i doesn't really feel like the same species to me but um i don't know i'm, I'm interested to see how they're going to make that work because those ones are fantastic the alpha looked badass the warrior looked amazing the scout looked fantastic the last two just kind of again they kind of lose me it's like with the telepathic thing they're adding it, it's kind of interesting all right we'll see though I, I'll, i'm gonna have a little bit of hope for this right so the next thing you can look at her body definitely has like a more uh, human female form. But if you look to the bottom of the like thorax I was talking about, it's got teeth on it. That's interesting. <laughs> I don't know what those could be used for. But uh, yeah, they're there. One way or another, they are there, right? Go to the top left, you can see that nice little side profile of her face. Looks very interesting. Kind of reminds me, for whatever reason, of Star Wars, I guess. Not a huge fan of that nowadays, but let's see start uh, picking apart the text right so it says how spiders are made head construction or HED construction um exo cover so it looks like the top of her head right here has kind of like a retractable thing going on up top that I don't know what that's all about um, it says distort head exo cover um, and it's, there's a picture of a beetle next to it it says some fun spiders exoskeletons bugs caps in armor to create weak points okay so i guess she definitely will be a boss fight which i think can be inferred from her presence like i don't know if they put this much work into her without uh, the player being able to interact with her you get a little um more information right here it says cold uh, uh gold be tentacle or arms attachment maybe that says could could be tentacle or arms attachment okay so this is still a very early concept because they haven't even decided what the limbs will be like but i think that's what it says could be tentacle or arms attachment yeah g-o-l-d or c-o-l-d cold i'm not sure what they're trying to say right there and again they're in croatia they're not speaking um completely perfect english all the time but i mean that's that's that comes with the territory right um and then right here's this protective exoskeleton for vulva okay that makes sense um <laughs> i guess like they're they're really diving into this whole uh Oh, okay, I see how that works, right? So this is just the thorax by itself. I thought this was like a separate bug or something, but no, this is actually the protective exoskeleton thing, I guess it's talking about. So this is gonna attach, and it says how egg is made, fair enough, right there in that little chamber, right here at the top, fair enough, and then it says weak points. And it's showing I'm pretty much like the boundaries between the two areas look like the weak points, right? Okay, interesting. Then there's the little mouth, even though it's kind of weird to say that where the eggs come out of. I don't know the technical or I guess, scientific term for something like that, right? Let's go back this way really quick and look at the rest of it. Um, it says, if we go on the left side, it says maybe some spider fur. You know, like those little hairs that I guess tarantulas get and stuff. That's kind of weird, but it would definitely be creepy. I think hairy bugs are weird as hell. I'm not afraid of bugs, but it's just, it's, it's very unsettling to see like fur on a bug. You know what I mean? Something with an exoskeleton. So yeah, uh, that'd be interesting to see. And then it says organic grump exoskeleton. I don't know what that says. A, 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 organically grown oh grown a organically grown echo exoskeleton and this is fused with muscle makes sense makes a lot of sense right it's gonna all be attached together so she's gonna have armor uh that might be a lot of fun to handle as players in the future but we will see sorry about the quality too this is the best quality photo that exists right now and getting um, zoomed in this far is going to degrade quality a bit, but I'm trying to read this better, right? Then it says human skeleton plus insect exoskeleton. So it's going to have both. It's going to have an internal 
endoskeleton and an exoskeleton, which is going to be crazy. This thing probably weighs a ton, probably insanely strong and tough to kill, considering that it has two skeletons, right? That's going to be wild. I don't know what this little beetle is here. It says, how do... How do bags deliver or how do... Not sure. Not sure what that says, but it says, how do bags deliver something like that? Interesting. I'm not sure what that means. Then here it says knee joint and spider joint. So it's a mixture of, of the two again. So you're basically just combining human features, um, like functional human features with functional spider features, right? So that's that, that makes a lot of sense, actually. You look at her feet, she has those like little spider claws or paws, people call them. You know, they do those close-ups and they say they're cute. I think they're disgusting. I don't think uh, spider paws are cute, but whatever. Um, but you can see she definitely has those going on in her feet. So if you want, um, you know, Bug Queen feet picks, this is probably the game you want to play, right? And then we have the bottom left again. I was looking at that earlier where I said this kind of reminded me of the uh, brain bug from... Um, Starship Troopers definitely still feels a lot like that. Those four eyes, I imagine there's going to be eight or something. I mean, spider thing, right? And then that uh, big old bulbous cranium. And then on the bottom, I don't know what's going on here, but um, it looks like she's kind of opening her head, or maybe it's attached to something, or maybe it's on fire. <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell. I think if we think about her origins, and we know that she is telepathic, she has you know these telepathic powers. Maybe that's kind of a view of her using them. I don't know. It's hard to say. You know, there's uh, no way to tell this early on in the game. But um, if she looks like that while well, she's communicating to um, her babies or the other members of uh, her colony, I think that would be pretty goddamn terrifying to see. Because at this point, you just know you're you're screwed. You just know you're screwed at this point. And I don't think anybody wants to, you know, be greeted by this when they're in a deep dark cave anyway. So um, let's go on and look at the other stuff. Again, the eggs are massive. She's standing far back perspective-wise, and the eggs, probably if she was standing right up next to him, like just about to her knee, it's a pretty damn big egg. So again, these infants are going to be pretty large. Now let's start up right here. We didn't really discuss this at the top. That's a nice side view of her showing um, really how big the eggs are in relation to her and stuff. So, yep, that's kind of perspective right there i don't know what this is top center right here um i can't figure it looks like a beetle of some kind or maybe that's like another section of her body it's hard to tell let's go down another nice view of those eggs and let's go to the top so we can check out this other stuff all right so here i think these are a view of the legs that are attached to that thorax i was talking about um yep very spider like um very i, I want to say insect like rather than spider like so definitely there seems to be some inspiration from beetles and spiders alike it definitely looks more like crab or insect like so we'll see how that goes um then we got contrast hard soft fury i'm sure that is supposed to mean furry but it says fury um yeah 70 percent hard 25 percent soft so it's going to be mostly covered in armor on the outside with a little bit of softness makes sense makes a lot of sense especially if you're going to have the weak points and all that stuff in the game next part it says roots exo or roots irregular exo so roots interesting this definitely looks like a tree up here on the top uh right right center ish area and it's roots regular exo okay I don't know what that means, but maybe that has something to do with what we saw on her head down here. Definitely look like uh, looks like those could be like roots or something of some kind. So let's uh, do some more reading in uh, to that. Um, if we look at the top of her head again, she looks very tree-like to me again, uh, more than spider-like from a distance. So we'll see how that works. Uh, it says how egg is made. Weak points. Well, we already checked uh, that out. My bad. You get a nice view of those teeth and those legs down here. Then here we got a bunch of different views. It says. Hmm. What is going on here? I think maybe it's it's showcasing the weak spot because it looks like it's around the same location right there on top of the thorax. I don't know what this is to the left. Um, it's kind of hard to tell. It looks like maybe that's part of the background that she's coming out of. It looks like maybe there's a hole or something she's coming out of. Definitely see her foot taking a step away from whatever that is right there. Like a cocoon of some kind. You can kind of see like the hole and her stepping out of it maybe i don't know it, it's hard to tell but down here it says organized dis organized disorganized flow or disorga organized dis something flow 
I don't know what that means, but interesting. And then at the top of her head, they've drawn that purple again. So maybe that has something to do with her powers, or maybe that's something to do with what we saw in the bottom left picture right there. And here again, we have her like pretty much in the same pose as she is up here. And again, it's just kind of a more detailed view of that. Maybe it's talking about the flow of the eggs or something. Not sure, right? Then here we have what appears to be her, and she's attached to a much more, I guess hardened version of her thorax it's kind of like propping her up again like very tree like it looks like this is kind of like a structure that's part of the environment now and she's kind of organically attached to it right this definitely doesn't look like her feet are on the ground or her arms are there it kind of looks like she's just hanging there and uh, she is depositing eggs right here so that's crazy so maybe it's showing her becoming part of the environment she kind of like sets up in a permanent spot and like grow it grows around her or maybe it's the opposite maybe she was here and she can leave it at will she can detach from it which definitely looks like it is a case that she can detach from this if we look to the bottom right right here it looks like she's breaking away from that for sure Right here, same story again, just a less detailed view. This is probably just some sketches that somebody was using to brainstorm what she would look like. Much larger legs than this. I feel like this is probably one of the much earlier iterations of it where she could probably crawl around using this thorax and she's being propped up by it. So maybe potentially you'll be fighting like this octopus spider monster that's crawling around with her attached to the top of it, right? Maybe that's how it goes. And I think the more I look at these, that's kind of what I'm picking apart from all this. Another view of that thorax alone. Uh, this one's much more detailed. You got the joints, much more spider like here. Looks like a tarantula or something. You can see those little weak points they were talking about. Um, you can see the, the eggs and the teeth right there. And you can also see more of a uh, structured exoskeleton towards the top right here, as well as those, uh, whatever these fibers are, whatever these, you know, um, little tubules are that connect to her body. Very interesting stuff. And then right here, you have, again, a much more shaded and detailed version. You can see what's exoskeleton, you can see what's soft, and then you got a little bit of shading going on there too. And then here, she has her, her little head, like, flayed out, or not flayed out, but flared out like she has it right here in the bottom left. So that's interesting. Definitely, maybe this, or not definitely, but maybe this could be like a, a certain like um, state of her. Maybe this is like her enraged state. Maybe this is a different evolution of her. I'm not sure. Maybe it's stage two of a boss battle. Who can say? Uh, again, going up right here, this definitely looks like this is her being propped up by this bottom part. And man, like this, those teeth have become actual like, what are those called? Not mandibles, but they, they've, she's got like graspers on it now. They're not just regular teeth. They're actual like, like limbs coming um, on that, uh, I guess, orifice right there. That's really weird. So I think this is just a, a mod podge of like ideas they have. They don't know exactly what it's going to be yet, but I think all of these look really fascinating right i think um i don't know i don't know again like this it reminds me a lot of the queen from aliens you know she's static and she's like got this exoskeleton extremely tough laying a lot of eggs but right here it kind of looks like she's detaching from it and since they're showing the thorax separately it looks like she definitely can detach from it right so definitely i, I think they're taking a lot of inspiration from um the aliens franchise right so let's go far to the right right here and let's take a look at this last picture we have and the very last picture we have if um reading it left to right is correct is again this tentacle like mass of this just this bulbous like grotesque thing right it's got these um again like these um i guess you would call them jaws that have like limbs on them for like grasping and pulling eggs out i guess maybe moving around maybe not because it looks more like she's rooted we have used, seen the words root used so far, so maybe she is stuck in this position. And then again, she is held um, above the ground quite a distance by this structure she's connected to. So in, in this one, it looks like it's a lot more permanent of an attachment too. It looks like she's completely become part of it. Maybe she still can't attach, who knows. Either way, this raises a lot of questions for me. Um, I think we have our confirmation that the spider motif is um, is definitely what they're sticking with for this Wild Hunters, at least for the babies and the mom, it looks like, right? Then we got this right here, which, um, I don't know, what is that, a termite? I don't know if that's a termite. I'm not an expert on bugs. Looks like a termite to me, though, and it looks like it's spitting something out of its behind, like acid or something. Or maybe this was just like the inspiration for her lower half which kind of it makes sense if you hold these pictures side by side you can see like how that um just that form factor like that silhouette would match her and this bug as well i don't know what that is i'll 
I'll do some more research into that. See, that's interesting. Though. It does look like some larva of some type though, right? But yeah, again, it's spider motif, wild hunters. I mean, again, like what are your guys' thoughts on this? I think it's really cool. This is not the direction I thought they were going to go with um, it at all, if I'm going to be entirely honest. I don't hate it, um, but I don't know if I like it yet. I can't really give an opinion on what it'll be because there's just so many mixed... Um, you know, ideas here. Some of them are different than others, and it's kind of hard to tell. I think my favorite iteration is the, um, probably this, uh, bottom one right here, where she can, where it looks like she can still detach from it and move around like that. It's very creepy. It looks very functional, and it looks like it, uh, would be one hell of a thing to fight. Or not that bottom one, it's like this one right here. Yeah, this one I think is the one I like the most. We'll see, though. Um, as for the rest of it, the lore I think is still going to be really cool. Um, I, I, I think Scum in general is fantastic, and I think um, the backstory is interesting. I want to see them flesh out the bigger universe um, outside of the island more. I think that would be really cool. Um, and they are relevant to the story, which is also really cool. But I mean, I, I've said it in the two videos prior to this, they're losing me on the whole telepathic thing. I'm totally cool with them taking on genetic traits of other animals and stuff like that. The telepathy though, this like supernatural stuff is where they're losing me. I think Scum is great, and they, they pride themselves on how realistic they are, and um, going into the realm of science fiction is cool, but if you're trying to be super realistic on one hand, and then on the other hand, you're adding supernatural powers, it kind of takes away from the, um, I don't want to say the immersion, but I would say like the credibility of the universe. Still looks really cool. I still like the idea. But um, I think now it's starting to kind of not feel like scum a little bit, just because of those little details, right? I think if it was without the powers and stuff like this, this would be super awesome. And I think if they made him a little less spider-like, I think one or two spider features would be cool. But if they're going like the full spider route, I think um, it doesn't really match up with the other wild hunters we've seen so far. And I do think the, the first three wild hunters we saw are definitely um, much more of a... Um, believable and fitting you know um npc or character in the scum universe i i think uh, especially with how realistic it is you're on like a very realistic island and stuff and um, these would stick out for sure and not to mention we know for a fact that they're going to have their own dedicated areas so that's really cool i imagine you're going to find her in the hatching chambers where maybe the babies are in the hatching chambers and she's in like her own chamber i, I mean i don't know man like that's a lot of eggs though and she's in the process of laying one right there it makes me wonder like he wasn't joking around with the whole spider thing. I don't know. I don't know. Hopefully, they get more humanistic qualities in the future, more human-like, because uh, this doesn't... It's not too scary to me. It's not too foreboding. It's kind of creepy, but it feels like a um, like a comic book gimmick kind of thing. That's what it feels like. It doesn't really feel like something you would see in Scum, if, if, that, if you know what I mean. But the, the warrior, the alpha, and the worker all look, something, look like something I definitely would be scared shitless of if I saw them in uh, the caves below or on the surface so we'll, we'll see definitely fascinating stuff though whichever way you want to pick it up um i, I like it i want to see more of it and uh hopefully this is not the final design because i think they could bring a lot to the table with all of the wild hunters and the lore behind them right and i hope it's not just wild hunters i hope like i said they expand on tech one the wars all the stuff that's led up to this point right but anyways, that's really all I have to say about it. Tell me what you guys think in the comments. Check out the other videos I have on the other Wild Hunter variants. And again, I, I appreciate the support. Um, I will catch you guys in the next video. And um, as always, peace.